All right, we're ready. Let's go ahead and get started. Today, we're going to be doing a total body workout. Now, I'm not going to be using any equipment whatsoever. We got Opal over here, me, Opal, super excited as she is a booty bands coach, ready to take it with us as she's going to actually show us with weights. So if you have either weights or no equipment, you can do this workout today. So let's go ahead and get started. If you need to throw that hair up into a ponytail, we are not having shoes today. It does not matter if you have shoes or not. Just be careful and be safe at home. That is to your own discretion. Today we're gonna to be going over a lot of form. So let's go ahead and get set up. What you are gonna need for today, um, you'll notice that Opal has a barbell and some free weights, and she'll also be using some booty bands. For me, nothing. I'm just gonna straight up me and the air and the resistance of my body is what we're gonna be working with, okay? All right, so keep in mind, if we feel like we're gonna fail, we're not that good, so what? Letting go and ditching that perfectionist mindset, you guys, is so important. Allowing ourselves to focus on the progression. We all start somewhere. Opal wasn't a perfectionist, or wasn't a perfect at the very beginning, and neither was I. And so it's really just getting started, all right? So let's get started with a simple squat. All right, so go ahead and show us squat, Opal, over here. She's just gonna show us some squats. And what I've noticed with squats, sometimes we just think about going down. And what are the common misbeliefs on that? is when we squat down is then we're going to be hitting a lot of our quads and our knees so we're going to learn a little technique i want you to grab your on your waist right here shift your hips back and then sit it back like you're in a chair all right so just do that exercise with us right now really feel that the weight is going back into your heels and so almost like if you're about to fall over that's exactly where i want you but not with your balance i want you to tighten that core for me so Here's the other common mistake that I see. People think they just need to keep their chest up because that's what we've been taught for so many years. So what I want you to do is actually engage your core, shift your body into more of an angle. You can really send your glutes further back and therefore get more gains in your glutes, okay? Or tone on whatever you want to do. All right, we got a total of five more. Keep going. Make sure you're breathing. Good. Two. And one. Now we're just going to side touch. So touch and squat to the side. Just warming up the body. Your arms can do whatever they want to do. Whatever feels natural. Exactly. Opal said anything that feels natural for you. Also, sync up with your breath right now. What does that feel like? Push it out. Good. I'm going to show up a little variety here. So hold it right here. We're going to side tap and then we're going to step to the side. Okay. Side tap and then step across. Good, keeping that core nice engaged. Maybe you have your hands in the front or to your hips, whatever feels good. We like to keep these workouts short, but yet effective. So right now you're working your glute medius and your minimus, and also your maximus when you're doing the squat. Hit in all three areas. Good right here, hold and pulse. You're just gonna push out. And when that band is on, Oh, you're gonna feel that in the next round. <laughs> Breathe, keep it nice and low. Weight is in your heels, check your form. If you need to look in the mirror, you sure your butt should be real back right now. Not down, but back. Good, love it, love it. All right, take a little breather, shake out those legs, kick the butt. Ooh, feel that. That <laughs> feel good? <laughs> making ourselves a priority. This is great. All right, we're gonna do the same thing, but Opal this time is gonna add just a little bit of weight. Maybe her purple dumbbells, something like that, just to kind of feel it, all right? All right, here we go. Engage the core. You're just gonna take that belly button back towards the spine. Send the hips back. Here we go. You can put that weight in the middle of your legs, on the outside, or if you're like me, just use your own body weight, okay? All right, we got eight more. Feel it. This is that mind-muscle connection, you guys. I want you to really connect with your body right now. It's not about speed. Slow it down and feel. Good. Two more. So if I start to feel like it's too much, you drop that weight. Yes. One. There we go. Opal went to dropping the weight, which is called a drop set. Love it. All right, let's go ahead and do what we were doing before. So we're going to go ahead and sidestep. Squat and sidestep, there we go. Squat and tap. There we go, so notice Opal, she's holding on that resistance. Wherever you wanna hold it, you can do your shoulders, you can do your side, you can hold one weight, doesn't matter. Good, keep breathing. 
Feel it. All right, we're gonna go ahead and stop right here. Now we're gonna tap and slide. That's it, tap and slide. If you're gonna start to feel a little inner thighs right here, that's exactly where we want it. Keep in mind, we want that booty back. Don't shift it forward. All that weight is in your heels. Last one, and kick it out. Woo. Total body workout. We're gonna be working upper body, lower body. You're feeling that heart rate coming up. Whew, it feels good. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and show you the next move now is going to be the RDL. This is called the Romanian deadlift. So um, Opal, tell us why you like the RDLs. I like the RDLs because my main focus is on my booty, specifically kind of my lower booty and my upper back thigh. Um, I struggle with cellulite, and so I'm targeting this, and I really enjoy the RDLs. Yeah, thanks for that. I am the exact same as uh, Opal there. I love the cellulite, because I don't love the cellulite, I hate the cellulite, hate but I love the RDLs, <laughs> because the more lean muscle that we build right there is where we're gonna do it. So um, we're gonna have her either do barbells, dumbbells, whatever she wants to do, and we're gonna go ahead and get started. So let's go ahead and set up. So set up for success, we have our, sh our feet shoulder distance apart here. All right, and then whatever's comfortable from here, it's gonna be the hinge in the hips where you're gonna send those hips back, boom, that's the first step. And then from there, all we're gonna do is just walk our hands down to about mid shin or just right below the knees and then come back up. Notice that my knees are soft, they're not hyper extended. So soft in the knees and then bring in that either that barbell or the dumbbells or just your hands and you're just walking them down the legs. Taking your time right here, you guys. It's really about feeling, it's not a rush, because listen, we are so used to doing cardio, and the cardio we're just thinking about burning a bunch of calories. But you know what we're focusing on now? Is we're connecting to our muscles. Our muscles is our metabolism. Our metabolism is what's going to be burning our fat, and that's what's going to be helping us burn calories up to 24 to 48 hours after the workout, rather than just thinking of cardio, of just busting it out right here this second. So taking your time with this move, it's pretty simple, but it actually feels kind of complicated if we end up losing our upper back, or we can do a lot of mistakes here. So just keep following um, Opal here. Sometimes people go down too far. Yep. And then you're just straining your back at that point. There's no point in going too far. So you just want to be about mid shin, where you feel that tightness in the back of your leg yep. and your Stress. booty. That nice stretch there, and then you're coming back up. Another thing that I see people go a little bit wrong with, and how I was taught, was you come up and you're squeezing and you're pushing forward. Unnecessary. We, we're not engaging our leg at the top there. We're now letting that go. We don't want that. So we're gonna come down midway, back up, all the way to where it's engaged, just a, still a little bit of a bent knee, and then we're going back down. I love it. All right, so if you guys aren't doing this one with us, make sure you're doing it. You're doing great. My favorite. <laughs> they are. All right, and then we'll go ahead and uh, bring that weight down, finish out that last rep, and then we'll go ahead and start next with our upper body. So we're gonna go ahead and do, go into a bicep curl and a shoulder press. This is one of Opal's favorites. So either you can grab your dumbbells here, you can actually grab water bottles, or you just wanna use the air with me, we can do that. All right, so here's what we wanna do. This is what I really like, is I want you to actually feel the biceps, you guys. Don't swing it up, feel the biceps, engage the shoulders right here, and then press it up. Using the core the entire time, bringing it slowly down, and then bringing it back down to start. That's it, slow is the best way, I promise. Best results, and really you're actually getting an ab exercise the entire time here too. Good job, Opal, she's killing it, just nice and strong. You guys I'm feeling? my core tight the whole time. I'm keeping my arms, my whole upper body nice and tight the whole time. That way it's all engaged, and I'm using the muscles that I need to be using. All right, let's go ahead and finish out five more reps of those, bicep curls, shoulder press. Good, feel it. Now, now though, swing in here, it, it feels like you wanna do that because it makes it easier to pull it up, right? But then we're not engaging those muscles, we're letting go of those muscles. So just to here, not a, just like we were doing with our knees, we don't want that fully locked out. We want to engage that still, a little bit of a bent elbow. We're coming up to our shoulder and we're pressing up from there. Back yep. down to the shoulder, back down to the hip, a little bit of a bend. And if we feel like we need a swing, you guys, that's when we just drop the weight and go to the lighter weight, right? 
Awesome. All right, let's go ahead and go into our abs, you guys. So excited for this one. Russian twist. Um, I learned something really cool today with Opal. She's gonna show us the uh, Russian twist. Let's go. Okay, so a few options here. It kind of depends on where you're trying to engage your stomach. Um, I'm really trying to focus on my lower stomach because I feel like I've developed some muscle here, but I'm still struggling a little bit down here. So I'll show you both, but that way you can target your specific area. So you can do no weight, like Danita, where you're just kind of keeping your hands where they're comfortable to keep your balance, or you can use a weight like moi. So you can hold it like this or however is comfortable. So we want to put our legs up. We don't want to cross them. You'll feel it more if you keep your legs apart. Okay. So if you are up a little higher, like I am, then you're getting a little bit more of that upper stomach, right? And we're going to just twist here. Try to keep our balance on our booty, wherever that's comfortable. We don't want to be right on our back. That is not comfortable. And we're just twisting back and forth. It's okay to let your, your legs move a little bit with your movement, um, or you can keep them nice and stiff, whatever's most comfortable for you. Or you can drop it down a little bit further, not totally on your back, but just roll back a little bit. And now I'm engaging that lower stomach a little bit more because that's my target. Ooh, you feeling that, Danita? <laughs> and three, two, one. Good job, guys. All right, so let's go ahead and repeat all those three. So jump back up, let's grab that barbell. We're gonna go right into that RDL. So tighten up the core, boom, engage it. Let's grab that barbell, or if you're with me, just go ahead and walk those legs up and down the legs right now. So send the hips back, hinge, dropping at the low shin, Good, feel that nice, good stretch to the back legs. Five more. So I was doing a lot of leg exercises, but I wasn't hitting that, that upper part of my back thigh. And so I came to Danita and I'm like, how do I target this one spot? And this was one of the exercises that she gave me. And now it's by far one of my favorites because I can feel it. Yeah, I love it. Let's grab those bite. Let's grab those curls, curls in the shoulder press, going right into it. Again, remember that sexy, strong stance, that strong female stance here. All right, let's go ahead and bicep curl, squeeze and press. Back down and down. Now I'm really using, you guys, my muscles right here to just fight against that air, just really engaging the entire time. And can you do that without the weights? Absolutely. Just feel. Make sure you're breathing. If you ever need to drop down in the weight, that's okay. You can even just hold on to the actual plates themselves. That can work too. Good, let's go three more. Two. Ah, I love it. All right, right into those Russian twists. Keeping that burn going. I love how she told us about the difference between up versus lower. It's so cool, huh? Let's go. I totally feel the lower stomach when I drop down like this. Oh, well, it's so cool. <laughs> All right, hit it, we got three. And that's it, go ahead and take a nice good rest, that's awesome. Whatever stretch you wanna do right here, just to kind of give yourself a little rest. Whatever your body needs. All right, our last one we're gonna do is we're gonna actually put the entire thing together. All right, that's it. Everything just shot once, one and done, all right? So let's go ahead and get up, knowing, now knowing to how to use your muscles and now knowing what weight you wanna lift, I want you to really challenge yourself here. So if you can, grab a little heavier weight, challenge yourself, drop the weight whenever you need to, and let's get started. Squats is first. So squatting it down. Good, and back up. 
Good. Remember, sending that hips back like I, we taught, feeling it through the heels and all the way up to the glutes. Three more. Good, that's it. Holding the weight here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna squat and then we're going to come up and tap. Squat and tap. Good, you got three left. Woo! We'll be feeling it by now. <laughs> oh yeah. All right, good. You're going to now hit to the side, bring it back in and slide over, keeping it nice and low. I really feel my inner thighs on these ones. Yeah. Good, we got three. That's it, let's go to that bar, grab that RDL. Woo. All right, hinge at the hips. Bringing it down slowly, stop at the shins and back up. Here we go again, drop it back, feeling the body. Heart rate's up, if you need to take a break, that's okay, pause the video and jump back in. Guys, keep it up. That's right. Three more. And last one right here. Feel it good. Bring it down right into those bicep curls. Engage, engage. Feel it, feel it. Nice and slow. Squeeze it up. Good and press. His knees are slightly bent. Core is nice and tight. Opal's shoulders, <laughs> biceps. All right. I like just getting a whole yes. bang for my buck on exactly. getting it all in. Good, we got three more. Anytime you raise anything above your head, I feel like it takes that calories to the Woo! next level. Good, last one, you guys are doing it. I'm so proud of you. All right, let's go right into those Russian twists. Starting up nice and high like Opal taught us. So if we're staying high, she said you're gonna be hitting into the higher core. If you're a beginner, you can always drop your feet down to the mat, that's okay. Yes, you can still push just like this. Keep your belly a little more. If you wanna engage a little bit more, and get a little more dance, bring them up. Love it, now let's drop it down to the low core. Okay. Sending the back a little bit lower. Lower tummy fluff. Oh, I like it. That, that pooch, say goodbye. Yeah, Here we go. Pooch. Three, two, and one. Woo. Beautiful. I'm gonna take you through a series of my favorite stretches. You can do whatever you want to do. Always listen to your body. All right, child pose, sending the big toes together. The heel and the uh, knees go out wide, taking some nice, good deep breaths. You got three here. Bringing it up with your hands are underneath the shoulders, the knees are underneath the hips in that tabletop position. Go ahead and bring that belly button, send it up to the spine so you're rounding your back. Cat. And cat, meow. And cat. I'm gonna give you a little secret. This is actually what I do every morning, by the way. I do like four moves every morning. Keep it simple because if we keep it simple, we don't get overwhelmed and that's when we can be more consistent. You're doing great. So go ahead and take that right foot up to your hand. You can send that back leg back if you wanna get a little bit deeper. Hold it here for three seconds. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the hand that's closest to your foot and you're gonna bring it up towards the ceiling and just feel that nice good stretch through your upper body and lower body. Breathe here for three. Good. 
Now we were working those uh, hamstrings right into that area of the back of the leg, and this one's gonna feel really good. So I want you to bring the toes up towards the ceiling as you shift and rock your hips back and feel that all through the back of the leg. Ooh, yeah. This is my tightest area for sure. Then you're just gonna heel toe all the way across. So heel toe, heel toe, so bring that knee down. And then you're going to just keep inching that back leg back so that you're setting your hips down. This is called pigeon. You can stay here and just kind of rock the hips back and forth. If you're a little bit more advanced, you can also bring it down to the mat, whatever feels best for you. I don't know how people don't stretch in life. I'm like, the older I get, I feel like I just need more and more. Good, and then whenever you're ready, I want to go ahead and just split this whole thing up with a nice, good downward facing dog, pressing the hands into the mat. I like to really try to push those heels down so I can feel that also. If you like, you can also walk the dog so you're just going from a rotation from your toes to your heels, alternating one at a time. Then you're gonna to want to go ahead and take the opposite leg we haven't done yet, and you're gonna go ahead and bring that up into the top where your hand is. Drop down that back knee, hold it here for three. You know what's coming, you're already smart. I can already know you're ready. Go ahead and take that hand and twist it up towards the ceiling. Feel and breathe. And whenever you're ready, go ahead and just send the hips back as the toes come up. Feel that back stretch in the leg. You don't know what to do for stretches. You can steal my top three stretches here, you guys. Just bring it across, pigeon pose, drop the hips back. Works in all the muscles I feel like you need. Rocking those hips back for a little bit. If you are advanced, you can go ahead and drop it down. If you're a beginner, you actually could actually put a pillow underneath your hips right here if you actually feel like this is a little bit too deep of a stretch. You can put a sit on a pillow and it actually will help. That was where I started with pigeon pose, so if that's where you need to start, Listen to your body. Last breath, really give me that nice good inhale. And then exhale. I want you to just thank you for showing up for yourself, making yourself a priority. Oftentimes I know that can be very difficult as a mom, as a business, however you are with all those crazy things in life. And you showed up, so I'm proud of you. Have an amazing rest of your day, and we'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks, guys. Nice to meet you. Bye.